What is really awesome about Google Jamboard, the whiteboarding app from Google, is that it's collaborative, which means I can be on the same jam at the same time as others. But unlike Google Docs and Google Sheets and Google Slides, there's no version history. But wait, there is. You just have to know the secret. So you'll notice that I'm here in this Google Jam, and up in the upper right, you can see that I have collaborators, and along the top is the frame sorter. I can move to the different frames, and you'll see that the frame sorter has this little drop down arrow so I can see all of the frames. And one of the things that I really like about Google Jamboard is that I can see what frame my collaborators are on. So you can see this collaborator has moved on to slide five, whereas these two collaborators are on slide seven. And I can click on the frame to go to that frame. I'm on frame six of seven. So you can see that there have been several edits in this document. So we have a couple of keyboard shortcuts. One of them is that control alt shift go to the frame sorter. And I'm going to do this plus icon in between the frames to add a frame. So now I'm on a blank frame. And on this blank frame, I'm going to use Control Alt Shift P to make a sticky note. And so I'm going to make a little note here. Control Alt Shift P is a sticky note. Save, cancel. And then I'm going to do Control Alt Shift P again. And notice that it comes back to being green. I'm going to switch this one to pink. Control Alt Shift P for reels. Save it and move this one. Resize it. But just on a side note, when I go up here to the frame sorter, what you'll notice is that my collaborator is on this same frame as I am because what's great about Jamboard is collaborating. We're on the same one at the same time. I'm making edits, they're making edits. So Control Shift P makes the sticky note, but then if I go to version history, how do I find that? If I go to the three dots, it does not show version history, but I'd like to know when edits were made. So who added this note? Hmm, I'm not sure. Here's another edit by someone else. Who knows who it is? but we can revert back to the template. And so what we are going to use is Control-Alt-Shift-H. Now notice that my collaborator has selected this picture in Jam. So again, what's really great about Jamboard is the collaborating. I can tell where my collaborators are, but when I do, remember it's Control-Alt-Shift-P gives me a sticky note, but version history is control alt shift h so let's take a look at what happens when i do control alt shift h control alt shift h you can see now takes me to version history i can expand out the different versions over here so what we can see is when edits were made we can see that we have multiple collaborators on here I'm going to click on this version so I can see that at this point there were six frames in the jam. I'm going to come down here to this version when there was only three frames in the jam. But you'll notice unlike Google Docs, I can't tell who made what edits, who put down this sticky note. I don't know. But what I can do is come over here to the three dots on the version and notice my options. So I'm going to use name this version, and I'm going to name this version template. So this is something I highly recommend when using Doc Sheet Slides and Jamboard, is before you collaborate, before you share with someone, is that you'd use the vision history, the version history to name it template. So if anything happens, you can easily revert back to that version. Now Google Docs let me use the file menu and I go to version history and I can name the version right from the file menu. Can't do that in Jamboard. But if I use Control Alt Shift H and then I find the versions on the side, I can use those three dots to name the version. And I recommend that you do that often so that just in case you can revert back to a previous version.